Hi there, it's Clary Berry, and I'm here with the horoscope for the 14th and the 15th, basically. Kind of throw the 13th in there, too, but this is for our new super moon in Scorpio and our moon in Scorpio. Okay, so let's jump right in, shall we? Okay, so I hope you guys are doing well. Um, Some things with relationships, I feel like, wow, has somebody been possessive? This is really emotionally kind of intense. It's like we need to, it's almost like we feel like we need to take a break from relationships, maybe. Um, but, and, and maybe that's true, you know, sometimes in order to get to the bottom of things, you know, we need to stop, you know, spending all our time, you know, just doing those things that we normally did or do. Um, you know, being all social all the time and this year is kind of asking us to slow down and, you know, maybe find a, a new way to be for at least a little while, you know, and it can be, you know, it can be emotionally intense. It can be a lot, you know, there's a lot that comes with these levels of awakenings and realizations. This is mind blowing, you know, kind of changes that are happening here. In a lot of different levels in the actual structures of our lives okay so you know yeah it's 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 stay cheerful and stay you know friendly but at a certain point we've got to really go within and get our own energy straight recalibrate reset right now especially in the midst of all of this change okay so again business structures systems changing in our lives Okay, we're dealing with this. We're dealing with ethics of it all. We're dealing with, you know, who we are and who we want to be going down in history, you know, sort of a thing. There's awakening and a, a healing. There's an awakening, you know, again, to like what you truly, truly want, what's really, truly important to you. And we're working through this during these days, especially sometimes we just have to just sit be still this is prolonged meditation coming through is going to can really get you uh, somewhere i think even just emotionally you know even just in like an unspoken again it's a good time for healing it is a wonderful time for healing and one of the ways that we do that is by shifting our root systems our beliefs what we're fighting for what we're working for what we believe in so passionately and how we say it, how we get it across, all of those things. But it's there's this deep kind of fundamental change, you know, of our principles and who we are and our philosophies. And again, it's just this time to just relax. Sink into it. Sit with it. Sit with it in the new moon and rest. Get yourself again you know, yes, if you can have some emotional resolutions, especially through the 13th and the 14th, you know, and then kind of going within into the 15th and really setting these new intentions. What is your, I feel like everybody almost should have this new burning desire or a renewed burning desire that they're trying to, you know, push forth birth and rebirth of ourselves as well through these new intentions and new actions and ideas ways that we should behave and believe okay so this is a lot of again the structure of what motivates you what really turns you on and what really is your passion you know again that's there's issues with that with the cardinal t-square with all of these desires that we're having you know but then again, you know, we have the luck with the yachts coming through too, and that almost that exact same energy. And, you know, there is a lot to be said for standing alone right now. Standing alone, going within, really seeing things for what they are. And again, in this new way that we figured out, because Scorpio helps us to get to the bottom of things, get to the bottom of the way that we think and feel, why we think the way we feel why we think the way we think and why we feel the way we feel. It's for a reason. A lot of times it's because of the way people have treated up, treated us in the past. Ex-lovers, family, friends, teachers, priests, coaches, you know, whatever. 
all sorts of different things in our lives. And the past can sometimes poison, you know, the future and the present and everything in between. Because of, again, these thoughts, beliefs, and expectations, they're huge. Study the holistic law of attraction. I have the program down below. Changing the way we react with the universe. Changing the way we expect things to go. Don't be saying things and repeating things that you don't believe in and really want to come true. Don't feed energy. Don't feed any focus into anything that you don't want. Okay? Recalibrating, being reborn, renewing our passions in major ways. Maybe going back to things that we haven't done for a really long time. That we've really, you know, maybe have been having this or will be having, you know, again, this new desire to have. Okay, this new passion. It's a grand cardinal turning, you guys. I mean, this is huge and this is huge for you. This is deep. This is going to affect the rest of your life. These changes and what you're doing now, the intentions that you're setting now. Hey, no pressure, you know. But I mean, come on, you guys are the leaders. Leo, you know, I'm Leo rising. I get it. And you don't have to have all the answers, okay? But you do need to be in touch with yourself, your true self, your deeper and higher self at this time to lead you and guide you. And that's where your passion and energy is going to be redefined and reborn and re and re and it's going to be like rejuvenated, you know, with, with good positive energy if you're, going, if you're going through the steps and doing things right, if you're open to the change, if you're... You know, again, and it's just a lot of it's just getting into nature, breathing, meditating, stillness in the still of the night, you know, still of the night, calm, relaxing, shifting of intentions, setting new ones for the next few, you know, weeks and months ahead. Here we go. Grand Cardinal turning, you guys, once every 300 years. Once every 300 years. Nobody was alive, he, you know, unless it was a past life. So this is amazing. This is a beautiful time to be alive. This is wonderful. And use that positive focus and that motivation. Again, this is getting down to the ethics of our business, the ethics of the way we spend our time, spend our money, what we do, what we help, who we are. This is really looking at the details, really looking at the way we've been doing things deeply, possibly through generations, again, through the bloodline type of things, but definitely in your own life coming through for years and years, if not decades of habitual energies, habitual thinking, repeat, repetitive thinking, things that you're ready to let go of now. And it's a beautiful thing. And you're doing the right thing. Always listen to yourself. Go within. And keep growing because that's what it's about. It's never stagnant. You have to follow your own truth, your own healing, and your own, you know, light that guides you. And the more you can do that now, and the more you can go within, you know, the better the things you're going to be able to, you know, focus on and create and empower and, and do change grow so much love many blessings don't forget to check out your other you know your personal planets in your own chart and those of your people and your people's charts okay so thanks for likes shares thumbs ups appreciate you so much talk to you soon bye